Well, hugely impressed by the Puma. That's very, Puma very straight posture. Ilias to serve, lower. Regal quality about him, this young man. We kick off the fourth game, but the Beast will come back again and again and again. It'll be a very positive start here from Shibagi, can assure you of that. Will it? Oh. Down. One love. Does the Puma go short here because the ball will be a little bit colder again? Does he just. And, and Shibagi didn't ask for a new ball, which I'm quite surprised about, Joey, and given the situation. Well, Incredible the countering there, and look That's at the width. Goodness me. Nice. That, was, that width came from the wrist. Now, we talk about the people that have been involved with his career. Love. Jonathan Power was and is still very much involved with his career, but took him under his wing for a long period of time. And then again, that's the, the power kind of effect on him. It's a nice, it's a nice suiting for Elias, the way it came together between those two. It's funny how things happen, isn't it? And now, because he's, it was a nice suiting one, for him for two. his game to, to add that bit of extra kind of quality from power, what he would see with the, the natural movement and smoothness of Elias gives him a little bit of extra height. Yeah, the Jancheresque uh, silky movements combined with the power wrist. He was uh, building his defensive patterns as a junior. I saw him play at the British Junior Open and he was very, very organised, great lines. Yeah. And then power has just obviously helped him in that front half of the court development, Two, taking the ball in. Four. I'm getting ready for an absolute tussle here. This is going to be very exciting. I feel Joey as we once again move to the latter stage of this game. Strong, strong movement, confidence boosting when that happens. And up, three, two. Think about it, Johnny. He's clipped him on the way through there in the face. In the face. That is uh, painful. That was, you could hear the this clunk. Is this is your mistake. Stop, stop I'll show again. No comments, please. No comments, please. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I did not mean this. But, like, this is his mistake. Mr. So Elias, sorry. are you okay? I'm so sorry. But I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. You okay, though? Yeah, the Puma just keeping things calm there. It's not being cut. Just a bit of a duff on the eyebrow. <laughs> you know what? What's you were in the swing. What? Failed to play. Are you okay? <laughs> you need? But get still, that. you failed to play. You were in the swing. I can get what that. softened the blow on his head there, Johnny? Was it actually hit the shoulder no, before it hit his, uh, above his eyebrow? Yeah, he's very lucky not to have sustained a, a nasty cut there, where we might have had a serious break in play. Well, that's another thing as well. Is this? I don't know. I just like a broken record, but it does my head in. I wish somebody would actually listen and update the blood ruling because the blood ruling is a stupid ruling in this day and age now. Does my nut in. Oh, oh. Got a crowd roaring against. <laughs> Slight miss there. It's me, that's the loudest we've heard them cheer due to the kind of slight miss. Brings back memories when I played Kareem El Mr. Cowie in the Cairo Stadium. Every miss you made was loudly cheered. Shibagi cleverly moved out of the way there of his wayward drop shot. And Elias has lost his, lost his way here, Joey. He's asking about pickup in the back corner. Yeah, I'm watching, yeah. yeah, I'm watching. Can you check? Yeah. This one was a carry. Okay, you want to check? Yeah. You want to check the pickup? It was no, no, no. He wanted to hit a straight right. No, no, no. It's all okay. All good. Play on, please. Five, three. Well, he's talking about the pickup in the backhand back corner. I didn't properly see that, Johnny. Well, the referee got a bit confused there. He asked if he wanted to check. He told him several times that he wanted to have a look at. In any case. 
that's that's the thing that's hurt the world number one the most tonight is just when he yeah. looks like he might have finally Four, gotten a little break five. on the Peruvian Puma he hits the tin again Not missing those at all tonight. Five, Actually, that's become a very four. solid area for Elias here, front forehand. Yeah, again, that's the power risk. Racket face. And then the quick now, blast. Shibagi fighting fire with fire. And, uh, quick six, response. Are we four. in for a shootout at the OK Corral here now? It's not the ball. Is, the conditions are not very warm, and I see the ball going in now. Definitely going to be about who can hold their nerve the most. Oh, it's great play from the world number one. So solid across the line. Seven, well, his head on his shoulders five. as well. He had a couple of opportunities earlier on, but he decided to patiently push the line and waited for a better one. But he's struggled to shake the Puma loose in this match. Especially in these sort of situations, seeing this in every game. Shabagi gets a two-point lead. Oh, he's oh, three points. Well, the momentum coming, the crowd getting behind Shabagi. Eight, five. Cheering every shot from the Egyptian. Work from world number one here. Yeah. No, you wouldn't, but you wouldn't bet on that happening. His favourite spot in the court. Enough. Six, eight. This is just perceived pressure for me that Elias presents because he's, of, of his retrieval abilities and his movement. It just makes Shabagi go for finer margins than what he might against other players. Hard Three movement. times in a row. Yeah. It's really dragging that body of Elias around the court again, the hold and the snap cross court. He's got in there, and there's the fist clench from Shabagi. Putting on the pressure, he's going up, his height, his team Nine. position's even higher. Nine, and it's six. the first time, Joey, in the match that I've seen the Puma stop. He stopped and didn't move. Sure. Well, we've had 56 minutes of seriously high octane squash here in Doha. <laughs> Exhibition stuff from uh, Elias. We do it well, he's just asking about the pickup in the front right. forehand from Shibagi. Front. So we'll have a look at this one. And unfortunately, the trick uh, letting him down after this there. Uh, yeah, his way up. That's fine. Pick up good. So, nine, six, six for Shibagi. Looking to take this into, sorry, 10 Down. six. Still three game balls. And up, seven, 10, game ball. Done it again, Joe. It's, it, we've seen yes, that man. already in the match. A bit lucky. Uh, sh He's, that one was uh, a little bit lower, seven, but seven, ten. really not the right choice of shot here. No, it was, yeah, it was not yeah. when you're standing on it. No, Let's get it out of that corner. Oh, goodness me. Thank you. Those both have been going in brilliantly, haven't they? Well, this is going to be a massive serve, Johnny. Because Shibagi could easily threaten Gimble. short or cross court on this one, on the forehand volley. He did it earlier in this fourth game, and that was a bit of a shift of momentum again for me. Well, Diego Elias is going to let the hand go as well. He's just taking his chances now. Goodness me. Oh, wow. This is ridiculous. That yeah. is ridiculous. Rally. What a alley channel. 
What an alley channel. He's been doing this all match. And it's really, really smart Game play one. from the Peruvian because he was feeling it at 10-6 physically as well, and he's just taking his chances with the 2-1 lead. Another massive serve, keep saying it, but uh, so, so important when you're serving to somebody so dangerous. Good service. Well, this could be trouble, Johnny. It's holding the middle there. Oh, it's dead oh, as a this... dodo in the back corner. Oh, that oh. was flat as a pancake! That was flat as a crap! Hello. Has one How on earth did this cross court do this, Joey? I it's don't know. No idea. Second bounce on the short line. Ten all into the tie break. Ah! A little bit of space Sorry, there. Somebody, I can... need to play better. You're taking your opponent's space. I told you what I need from you. Well, the referee having a word with Shabagi on the forehand volley. And out. 11-10. So 11-10 game ball for Shabagi. It's all happening again. Exciting times. Oh, it's so dead in the back corners. Oh. oh, that's a great shot. That's yeah. a great shot. A shot from Shabani there. Oh, and we're going into a fifth game. Going into a fifth game. Goodness me, he couldn't get any closer, the Peruvian. When you think about what's happened in the all four games, Johnny, three tie breaks we've had. We've had an 11 8 in the first, and three tie breaks now, just under the hour mark of explosive, dramatic, exciting, nerve wracking squash. And it's now two games apiece with one more game to play. Well, the ball will be so, so soft, and the beginning of this fifth game so important for Elias because Mohamed El Shabagi will step up the court and look to build a very, very quick lead. Considering how much quality we've had, there were five errors from Shabagi. But uh, when you think about all these tie breaks going on, I mean, it, it's just very, very good squash, very entertaining, and it's uh, got us on the edge of our seats. Big time, big time. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Interesting there, El Shabagi just seems to be listening something. Not talking, just listening to some feedback. An incredible game, another tiebreaker. It couldn't get any more exciting here in the, the Khalifa complex. These two are serving up an absolute feast of squash for all viewers and everybody here. Magnificent game of squash. All the skills again, there was early on, we saw a lot of quick play. Hold a ball as both players come back in the court, and we'll see a lot of that in the fifth game. But the retrieval skills of the Puma were put to the test. He almost held up. He snuck back from 6-10 to 10 all. And then there was a couple of great cross courts from both players. Shabagi getting the most important one. He wins it. Two games all.